science should be to improve people's lives. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this statement? Science has long been heralded as a beacon of progress, offering solutions to humanity's most pressing challenges. The debate over the primary aim of science persists, with some arguing that its paramount goal should be to enhance the quality of people's lives. While this viewpoint holds merit, it oversimplifies the multifaceted nature of scientific pursuits. Undoubtedly, the overarching objective of science is to contribute to the betterment of society. Through advancements in medicine, technology, and environmental conservation, science has revolutionized the way we live and interact with the world. From life-saving medications to renewable energy sources, scientific innovation has significantly improved people's health, well-being, and standard of living. However, it would be short-sighted to assert that improving people's lives is the sole aim of science. Scientific inquiry is inherently driven by curiosity, the quest for knowledge, and the desire to understand the universe. Fundamental research, while not immediately applicable, lays the groundwork for future discoveries and innovations that may indirectly benefit humanity in unforeseen ways. Moreover, the pursuit of knowledge for its own sake often leads to serendipitous breakthroughs with far-reaching implications. History is replete with examples of scientific discoveries that originated from pure curiosity or academic exploration but later found practical applications. Therefore, while enhancing people's lives is undeniably an essential aspect of scientific endeavors, it should not overshadow the broader pursuit of knowledge and understanding. In conclusion, while improving people's lives should undoubtedly be a significant aim of science, it is not the sole purpose. Scientific inquiry encompasses a diverse range of objectives, including advancing knowledge, fostering innovation, and addressing societal challenges. By embracing the multifaceted nature of science, we can harness its full potential to create a brighter, more sustainable future for all. While many individuals believe that the intrinsic value of scientific developments should be enhancing society members' lives, others advocate for an open space for scientific researches which are not relevant to humans. In my opinion, our scientists should pay more attention to developing better human lives as the center for their researches because the budget for researches is always limited and also the focus on one type of science can make significant improvements. To begin with, our governments are precisely increasing the budgets of science as it is the current trend for developed countries, hence it is worth considering the aims of the researches at the universities and the labs to give more advancement in human health and well-being. For instance, according to an essay published in Nature magazine, the research needed in the medical sector for cancer research can improve significantly if the budget of space researches is given to defray the expenses of the cancer experiments. This example illustrates the pivotal role of cutting the expenses from one sector and spending it on providing better lives for humans. In addition, in a hectic globe where a plethora of science fields is rising around, we should realize that the more we narrow the science focuses in fewer fields the more we can strengthen it. For example, many individuals are dying every day in hospitals for the lack of knowledge about their illness cases, while we spend millions to understand how the universe had begun by projects like CERN in Europe. When we limit the focus of science in each field and prioritize the health of humans, we will reach an inevitable result of healthier societies. In conclusion, while the struggle about open researches in whatever field has its merit, I believe in prioritizing the human being as a center for every scientific field. We can identify the motivation of the research and try to include the implications of the research on humans before starting to invest our time or money in it. While many individuals advocate for the intrinsic value of scientific developments to enhance society members' lives, others emphasize the importance of providing ample space for scientific researches, even those not directly relevant to humans. In my view, our scientists should prioritize the development of better human lives as the central focus of their research, considering the perennial dilemma of limited research budgets and the potential for significant advancements through concentrated efforts.